Hello everyone, it is April 6, 2024, and this is Reconquista 117. So for any new viewers, what this series technically is, is me trying to achieve certain life goals. The two main ones I have right now uh, for this series is uh, to get back to 170 pounds and also to get rid of all my debt. So for today, I wanted to wake up at 8 a.m., uh, do my abs, exercises at 9, stretch at 10, edit at 11, grocery shop at 1, eat at 2, church at 4, go to work at 5, and then go to sleep at 11 p.m. What I actually ended up doing is I woke up at 11 a.m. and then I, I did my ab workouts at 2.01, I stressed at, four, at 2.47, I edited at 3.03, I grocery shopped at 5.30, I ate at 1 p.m. What did I say? 4 p.m. I'm sorry, I scratched it out. <laughs> and then I did not go to church. I missed church. I missed church one time. This is because uh, this is something that's been bothering me right i mess up one time and then i just don't get back on it like i just can't get back on it i'm going to try to you know build that habit up again i think it's because there's been a lot of change going on but i need to do better in that sense uh, i did not go to work today i was trying to get everything i needed for the first day of work all the shopping buying all my clothes my suits and among other things uh for sleep i want to sleep at 5 a.m and I'll explain why. <laughs> but for daily production, I put zero TikToks, three Bumble Prime videos, and zero Uber Eats money. And uh, that comes to a total of $264.97. That's 667 for the week. And for the fix, I put intro. That's going to be there for a while. Uh, I wouldn't, you know, be too worrisome about that. Like I already explained before, I'm working on it. And it's well, on the back pedal right now. It's not one of the things that I need to really focus on. So for notes and reflections, I put today, I was preparing for my first day on Monday. I think I spent over $500 on clothes and food I'll need. My plan is pretty much to eat the same thing every day. Uh, some steak, potato, and fruit. If I do eat this every day, I think I'll be able to make great progress when it comes to the weight goal. Sorry, if I do a 220 pound push, I should be able to complete it by the end of April. So I think with this new structure, I'll really be able to do this. And I just really need to break down uh, 230 again or 232.4. If I go down to 230 again, um, I think just the momentum will carry me down. But I'm going to try to get to 220 and maintain it there. So we'll see how that goes. But I think I feel pretty positive about it, especially next week starting. We'll see how it goes with work. Um, but I mean, we'll see. But I said, uh, the structure that work can provide will either break or make me, but I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. I bought three suits, uh, technically. I'll see how people are dressed in the first day. Yeah, so what they told me was just like business casual, but I don't know what that means sometimes. Sometimes they say business casual and you go and people are overdressed, you know, they got a suit on, they look really good. So I was like, I don't want to be showing up underdressed. So, so, so like I bought three suits, a black one, a blue one, and a gray one. So we'll see if I need all of them. We'll see if I need all of them. So then I said, if it's anything, if it's not anything too crazy, I'll probably spend more money on pants and shirts and return the jackets. So yeah, the plan was if it's like business casual, business casual, where it's like just you need a shirt and some grass pants, I'll return the jackets, buy some more pants, and then buy uh, more shirts, you know, to have a little bit more of a variety, variety. Dang, I don't know how to say that in English. What variety? I don't know, man. Whatever. You guys know what I mean. Have different types of things. Variety. I think that's how you say it. Uh, they were really expensive. If I don't need them, there's no reason to really keep them. Uh, which is true. They were. I think I spent. They were like a hundred and fifty each. So they were pretty. And then I had to buy pants and shirts. So I spent a lot of money. <laughs> but uh. Uh, we'll see. I might return those if I don't really need them. If people are just dressed up decent, then um, I'll just return the jackets. Uh, at least right now, I don't want to make some crazy commitment to clothes as I envision myself reaching low 200s by winter time. So, yeah, I think oh, that's also that. That I think from you got to believe it, right? So, I believe it. I really do believe that I'll get there by this year. By the end of this year, I'll probably be like at 200 pounds. So, I'm thinking that. By the time I get there, I don't want to have too much clothes on this size because I won't use it anymore. So I don't want to invest too much money into it that I'll technically lose all of that because it won't fit me anymore. Uh, that's the way I see it and we'll get there. I mean, that's part of this whole thing. So if I don't believe it, then you shouldn't be watching this. 
<laughs> but I do believe this will get there. Uh, and then I said, I went to Chinatown today with a friend, which is why I slept so late and why my calories are cooked. The ramen was pretty good, but spicy. Yeah, I went to, to Chinatown and uh, we had some like spicy ramen thing. It was really good. Um, but yeah, I just got home really late at 5 a.m. And my next day was going to be cooked. I already knew when we had an important game. So we'll see how we do tomorrow. But for the calories I had today, it was 3,000 plus. It wasn't actually a bad eating day, but the ramen did cook it because you think we're having two meals. And for the weight, I did a 232.4. But that's pretty much it for today, guys. See you guys next time. Adios.